Hey guys, so your new topic for this week is the difference between singing in unison and singing in parts. So this video is just to kind of explain this to you a little bit more than what we have talked about it in class so that you can complete the assignment that comes next. So when we have been working on program music, except for you second graders, this is gonna be completely new. Um, when we have been working on our program music, uh, we have been singing in unison and we have also been singing in parts. So singing in unison is when everybody in the choir, everybody in the group is singing the same notes and the same words. You are all singing the same exact thing. So singing in unison is when everybody in the group or the choir are singing the same notes, same words. Singing in parts would be when I say, okay, third grade, you guys are part one. Fourth grade, you guys are part two. Um, third grade, that means you're the top line. Fourth grade, that means you're the bottom line. Or the same with fifth and sixth grade, when I've been saying that to you. That is singing in parts. You guys are singing different things. Maybe you're singing the same words, but you might be singing different notes. One of you has the harmony, one of you has the melody. So singing in parts is when the two grades or the two different groups in the choir are singing separate notes, separate words. Um, so this next assignment is just a little video. Um, the song that's playing in it is called Tante. This is a really, really fun song that I'd really like to do with you guys sometime. But it does a really good job at demonstrating when the kids are all singing in unison when they're all singing the same part in unison and when they are singing in parts when one group of kids is singing one thing and the other group of kids is singing a separate thing. So unison one more time. What is unison go? I'm going to give you 10 seconds to explain it. Awesome. Unison is when everybody in the choir or the group are singing the same exact part. Same words, same notes. Now I'm going to give you 10 seconds. Explain what singing in parts means. Go. And wrap it up. Okay, so remember, singing in parts is when the two different groups of the choir are singing different parts. So part one might be singing a certain thing, part two might be singing a different thing. This could be they're singing different notes. Part one has the melody, part two has the harmony. It, so remember this, if you need to watch this video again, please do. If you have questions, please email me. Um, your next assignment is called an Ed Puzzle, and what it's going to do is it's going to pull up a video, and this video is of the song Tante that I talked about a little bit earlier. You are going to watch this video. Throughout the video, it's going to stop, and it's going to ask you, uh, is the choir singing in unison, or, or are they singing in parts? And you have to answer. It will tell you if you got it right or wrong, and you can take it as many times as you need to until you get it right. So just make sure you're listening to what they're singing and try to decide whether they're singing in unison, they're all singing the same part, or they're singing in parts. The two groups are singing in different parts. All right, good luck.